So you ask me which camera for amateur shooting is better to buy now? And I'll tell you. DJI Pocket 2. 4K video. 3-axis gimbal. 64 megapixels photos, and 4 microphones. But back to the beginning. One day I decided. That's it. I need to buy a normal camera for vlogging. And no matter how much I tried, I could not find an option better than Pocket 2. And so, I have an extended set of creator combo, in which there is an adapter for mounting the camera on a tripod. Two connectors for connecting to a phone, with which it is easier to control and change camera settings. This is a wide-angle lens, but it unfortunately spoils the quality of the video a little. Therefore, I don't use it. Also included is a DJI wireless microphone. Most people buy the combo kit because of this microphone. It allows you to record high-quality sound at a distance from the camera. A compact case that can carry the camera, lens and connectors. The camera itself is made of high-quality plastic and the suspension is made of metal. The Pocket 2 has a high-quality touchscreen, on which we can also play videos and photos, and also change camera settings. Since the camera is modular, you can install a do-it-all handle on it, thanks to which sound is recorded on a wireless microphone, and you can broadcast an image to your phone. And there is also such a small tripod on which you can install a camera. Although she can stand on the table without it. The main advantage of Pocket 2 is its 3-axis gimbal. Especially when the camera is so small. And it's much better than shooting just on the phone. Or on some kind of camera without a stabilizer. Also on the camera there is an Active Track 3.0 tracking mode. It is easy to activate it with a double tap on the screen. Now I have launched the tracking mode. Let's check how well it works. Although it is certainly a little off. Most likely due to the fact that the gimbal on the camera is rather small. And now let's look at all the interesting modes that we have for shooting. The first mode is panorama. There are two types here. Well, 180 degrees. In photo mode, if you swipe from top to bottom, you can find the 64 megapixel mode. And if you zoom in, the quality is very good, probably better only in iPhone 14 Pro. There is also a slow motion mode, and in full HD, the camera can shoot video at 120 and 240 FPS. Time lapse. We have three modes of them motion lapse, time lapse, and hyperlapse. My favorite is, of course, motion lapse. Here we can choose where and where the camera will turn when shooting a video. Also, as you probably already know, in order to improve the quality of all videos on any camera, you need ND filters. I advise you to buy filters from Freewell Pro. They make excellent filters and other accessories for DJI equipment. I've used an iPhone 11 Pro for vlogging before, and I've been happy with it overall. But if you compare Pocket 2 and iPhone 11, it's heaven and earth. Pocket 2 has video shooting in a flat D Cine-like profile. By painting which we get a wider dynamic range and a more saturated picture. If we compare Pocket 2 and Osmo Mobile, then I can download that Pocket has literally a little worse stabilization. But it is much smaller and lighter than the big phone and Osmo Mobile 3. And by the way, if you tilt the camera, you can shoot vertical video. Enjoy!